Hi, I'm Adam Robinson, Environment Agency Project Director for the Boston Barrier Scheme. And today I'd like to share some really exciting news with you all. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the Boston Barrier Primary Gate is now fully operational. This means that the barrier can now be raised in preparation for tidal flooding events to better protect the properties and businesses in the town of Boston. This project milestone means that the risk of tidal flooding to over 13,000 properties in Boston is now significantly reduced, with homes and businesses now better protected for a similar event to what was experienced in December 2013. The whole team have worked incredibly hard to keep the scheme on track and everyone safe during what's been a very unusual year for us all. As you can see, that effort has definitely paid off and means we now have an operational tidal flood defence ready for the winter period. What can I say? What an incredible achievement and a huge thanks to Adam and Steve and the whole team, Environment Agency, BAM and many others that have come together to deliver this huge milestone on the Boston Barrier, which is a big project for us and now protects 13,000 homes within the Boston community. This project is one of our major projects around the country and is helping us to deliver 300,000 homes better protected by March next year. A big thanks to all of you. It's a totemic achievement during what has been probably the most challenging year. Uh, take care, have a great Christmas and thanks again. Boston is an historic market town with an important maritime history, but it unfortunately lies entirely within a floodplain. It has been devastated by flooding many times over the years. Records show that in the past 200 years, Boston has experienced nine major tidal flood events with the most recent tidal surge event in December 2013, which flooded over 800 properties across 55 streets. This led to significant economic, social and environmental damage. In the 2014 Autumn Statement, it was announced that the Boston Barrier Project, which is fully funded by flood defence granting aid from the government, was deemed a national priority project. By 2016, the outlined business case for the scheme was approved by the Treasury and Boston was one step closer to being better protected from tidal flooding. So it's important for me to thank everybody who's been involved in the scheme uh, in terms of constructing the barrier uh, from start to finish. It's been a Herculean effort to get us to where we are today. Uh, to everybody who helped us secure the cash, to the opening business cases and uh, all the local politicians and uh, all of the communities that have uh, helped us strive to this day, uh, a huge thank you. To everybody who's been involved in the construction, the project team, uh, those who've worked directly on site, uh, Herculean efforts, you've, you've operated with great skill uh, and great engineering uh, excellence to get us to where we are today. Um, it's clear this project is hugely beneficial to so many people in Boston. It will not only better protect uh, uh, thousands of homes from tidal flooding for, for, for uh, the coming century, but it will also provide the community with, with great opportunities, hopefully, to further encourage investment in the local economy. So to a thriving Boston uh, and a, a thriving and protected local community, uh, I'd like to extend my thanks to everybody who's got us to where we are now. Uh, thank you and uh, brilliant work. Barrier weighs just over 700 tonnes when fully ballasted. You can see it at the moment in its elevated position. It's in the defence position, which is what would happen in the event of a storm surge. It's 28 metres wide, 11 and a half metres high. It goes from being recessed in the river to this position in 20 minutes. So that's quite quick enough to deal with a, with a storm surge. In addition to the barrier, we've, we've constructed something like two kilometres of flood protection, uh, 7,000 tonnes of sheet piles. We're currently building flood walls on the Port Estate uh, behind the Keys, and we have another phase to do where we will construct uh, a higher set of gates at the port entrance. In the local economy, we've spent something just over £7 million, uh, and we were employing local men and women in construction of the barrier. The Boston Barrier Scheme is a partnership between the Environment Agency, Lincolnshire County Council, Boston Borough Council and Black Sluice Internal Drainage Board, and maximising the benefits of the scheme to society was a fundamental focus for all partners. The Boston Barrier Scheme delivers more than just a flood defence, it's been an important part of the work so far to include the local community where we can, ensuring they benefit fully from the project. It has been estimated that the scheme could help to deliver over £1 billion in economic benefits to Boston Town and the surrounding area by encouraging future local investment, 
improving resilience, social well-being and protecting historic assets. Hi, I'm John Curtin, the Environment Agency's Director of Operations, and I'm so glad I can say a few words on the fantastic Boston Scheme. Back in December 2013, I well recall the four government COBRA meetings I attended as we grappled with the devastating coastal surge. So I'm so pleased to see this project reach this significant milestone. To celebrate, I've even dug out my high vis, which has been hidden away for a while. The main element I wanted to mention today was how this project was the first major environment agency construction project where we took a look at how we could use the UN's Sustainable Development Goals to monitor and evaluate the project's wider successes rather than just flood protection. Given the innovation and the innovative approach the team have taken on the scheme, we're able to evidence achievements against all 17 of the UN's global goals through every step of the design and build process. This work is now being used as a benchmark within the Environment Agency for all future major projects to show how we can work better together to achieve sustainable outcomes with a common goal with all of our partners. Future infrastructure schemes, both large and small within the UK and from all over the world, will now look to the construction and operation of the Boston Barrier Project for lessons learned and knowledge sharing. Now, given the acceleration of climate change, changing the way we think about adaptation, as well as the infrastructure we can create, will be key to our success. So the approach taken to the scheme is a great credit to everyone who has worked on the project, both past and present, not just for the better protection of the local community of Boston, but for its long-term impact on the wider climate challenges. For that, I would like personally to thank each and every one of you that's been involved in this scheme. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michelle Sachs and I'm the Deputy Chief Executive of both Boston Borough Council and East Lindsay District Council. I want to be able to say how tremendous the Boston Barrier investment has been for Boston as a place. It's given a huge degree of assurance to both our residents who live in our bustling, busy town centre, but also the assurance for our businesses to be able to invest. The completion and handover of the primary barrier gate means the project as a whole is now 65% complete. This is a huge milestone and an amazing achievement for all of the members of the team, both past and present. But we mustn't forget that there is still more work to be done. Over the next year, we will continue to install new flood walls along the North Bank through the Port Estate and we will be taking delivery of the new dual purpose floodgate, which will be installed within the Port of Boston's wet dock entrance. This will allow us to complete the project to better protect Boston from the threat of tidal flooding now and over the next century, taking into account forecast climate change. We will also complete further associated works to tie the project into the Haven Banks Improvement Scheme, a separate Environment Agency project downstream of the barrier works, which will raise and strengthen five kilometres of existing flood banks running on both banks along the Haven from the barrier site towards the wash. This essential work contributes to reducing the impacts of flooding in Boston and will make sure, taking into consideration future forecast climate change, that the town is better protected now and into the future against the risk of tidal flooding for the next hundred years.